You learned that force is a push or a pull. But did you know that forces always come in pairs? Yes, a force cannot exist alone. Every force is part of an interaction between one thing and another. In this video, we will study Newton's third law of motion, also known as the law of interaction. Newton's law of interaction states that whenever one object exerts a force on a second object, the second object exerts an equal and opposite force on the first. Example, let's consider a boy swimming in a pool. To move forward, a swimmer has to push the water backward, causing this part of the water to move backward. But what pushes him to move in opposite direction? The water does. Yes, it is the water that pushes the swimmer to move forward. When the swimmer exerts force on the water, the water also exerts force back on the swimmer in the opposite direction, causing him to move forward. In the interaction between the swimmer and the water, there is a pair of forces involved. One, acting on the water, and the other acting on the swimmer. We can call one force the action force, and the other the reaction force. It doesn't matter which force we call action, and which we call reaction. The important thing is that they are co-parts of a single interaction, and that neither force exists without the other. For example, we may call the force exerted by the swimmer action force and the force exerted by the water reaction force. Action force and reaction force are always equal in strength or magnitude and opposite in directions. Then we can express Newton's third law in the form to every action, there is always an opposed equal reaction. You might think that because action-reaction forces are equal and opposite, they cancel out each other. However, action and reaction force pairs do not cancel out because they act on different objects. Forces can cancel only if they act on the same object. Now, can you think of other examples of law of interaction? Consider a boy on a skateboard. Initially at rest, he pushes against the wall. What happens as the boy pushes the wall while on a skateboard? The boy moves away from the wall, opposite to the direction of the force he applied. The action force is the force exerted by the boy on the wall. The reaction force is the force exerted by the wall against the boy. Now your turn. Given the action force, try to identify the reaction force in the following situations. Number one, rowing a boat. The man paddles the water backward. What is the reaction force? The water pushes the paddle forward, causing the boat to move forward. Next, walking on the floor. The action, the feet push the ground back and down. What is the reaction? The ground pushes the feet up and forward. Next, sitting on the chair. The action, weight of the man on the chair. What is the reaction? The upward support force of the chair on the man. That ends our lesson. I hope you learned something from this video. 
Thank you so much for watching.